So uh, in this bay here, uh, what we have is actually a combination of, of habitats that together make up uh, coral reef ecosystems. So when people think about coral reefs, they think of the reef itself, but actually it's made up of a combination of different uh, ecosystems. For example, you see the, the sand flats here, and you see some dark patches out there that are actually seagrass. And a lot of uh, fishes that uh, we see and we use for food actually, uh, that's their nursery. So the little fishes live in the seagrass and then they move to the reef when they're bigger and that's where they usually get caught uh, for, for consumption. So these seagrass beds are actually vital for uh, coral reef environments uh, in, in their support of uh, fish communities there. Uh, coral reefs in general, as you probably know, are the most diverse ecosystems on the planet. Uh, and they're only found in uh, certain parts of the world where it's warm enough and where the water's clear enough for uh, corals to grow, which are the main architects of these ecosystems. And so the Caribbean is actually one of the spots where coral reefs uh, occur. And so as a consequence, we have one of the most diverse ecosystems on the planet right here in our own backyard. Uh, what most people don't realize is that when we go in the water and look at the diversity there, we're pretty amazed by it. But the vast majority of the diversity on those reefs is made up of tiny things that we don't even see. Things that are living on fish, for example, or inside of fish. Things that are living on or inside of sponges and coral. Things that are living in the sand is, that form the food base for fishes or, or other things. And so the tiny things really is sort of the, that's the new frontier for, for ecology, marine biology uh, in general. Because the big things, we know about that. The tiny things, though, are the new frontier. And we're just beginning to understand what a vital role all of those things play in these ecosystems. It's extremely uh, important and something that most people don't even uh, think about because they can't see it. If you collect some samples with under a scope, you see this vast community of things uh, that are living out there uh, that are really cool, actually. In reality, most of the animals that you might, well, actually you won't see them, but are there on the coral reef are parasites. About 80% of the animals that live on coral reefs are parasites. Even the parasites have parasites that live on them. So parasites account for the vast majority of biodiversity on coral reefs. And yet most people don't even notice they're there because they're small and they're hiding in things. But the uh, diversity is mind-boggling. And so as a consequence, uh, they really are the most successful group of coral reef organisms, parasites. And uh, so they should be applauded for that.